Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. This is video number three about a SATA heat pump dryer. The first video was about unpacking and first impressions. The second video was reaction on the first video. People ask how to connect drain hose um, instead of using the um, onboard um, water container because what it does when it dehydrates the clothes it collects water in the container so people who don't want it in other maintenance so uh, i created second video that i put in a card about how i plumb a dryer not to use that container and there were a couple other questions um, about how noisy is a, is a dryer and how fast it dries and all of that. So I can answer question how fast it dries and it is important one to understand that heat pump dryers are different from tumble dryers. So tumble dryers uh, heat up the air, uh, heat up your clothes, literally burning them and pushing that moisture out of the dryer out. The heat pump dryers are different. The reason why they're so economical and so gentle on clothes because inside heat pump dryer there's almost like mini air conditioner. If you notice with your air conditioner, um, you've got an outdoor unit, there's a hose and water dripping from there when you use it. So besides cooling air, it also dehydrates the air. Also in the winter when it's heating up air, it uh, dehydrates. So here's the same. First of all, it creates the heat and keeps it inside the drum, so heat not getting dispersed outside. That's where savings come from. The second one is instead of dispersing that moisture in the air and creating uh, or instigating mold, it collects that moisture like air conditioner does and drips it out. So the idea is to take that uh, water and collect in the container so you can uh, empty every time you use it or you can drain it as a washing machine drains it out and I plan it, I'll show in a second video how you do that. So now it's a beautiful rainy day in Brisbane. I just finished my washing and just about to start dryer. I'm not sure if you can hear how loud or not loud the dryer is but the first impression what I would like to point out, unlike any other dryers that I use, and actually washing machines as well, the door of this dryer actually opens all the way. Let me show you. It goes all the way in. That means you've got all the accessible space. Not like it is like half closed and you just squeeze through and, and put clothes in. So you've got all that um, open for you, which is great. Uh, it's my first impression. Actually, it's my first time I'm using this dryer, so I've got no idea what to uh, expect. I just hope it will go all to the plan. So I loaded my washing. That is approximately five to six kilos of uh, washing. And based on my experience with the um, heat pump dryers, it will take between two to three and a half hours to dry it. And a beautiful part of the dryer, they got a lot of functions that based on a sensor to sense when your clothes are ready. So you can be even more gentle on your clothes if they are mostly synthetic or like now with mixed loads, so I'll put just on top. There's a auto uh, which a sensor tells when to stop drying. So anyway, everything out of the way the, the filters are clean like when you're not using them for the first time make sure that all filters are clean please watch my second video where i explain how it why it is so important to keep filters clean in this particular dryer so filters are clean the oil is shut um it's plugged into electricity and here i'm starting for the first time and i hope you hear how much noise it makes and at the end I'll report how dry my clothes are and that probably will be my final video. For now, thank you so much for watching this video before I start and you hear noise. If you like this channel or any videos on my channel, please subscribe. If you would like me to create videos on different subjects, please let me know. Um, and uh, thank you for watching. Greg from Brisbane, Australia. Let's start it. We turn it on.
All right, so we've got only one red LED, that means the power is on. And I choose auto, which is a trust uh, uh, dryer to dry it appropriately. And now I'll start the dryer. So here we are. That's how noisy it is if you hear me talking, same voice. That means, to me, I think it's not noisy at all. It's actually very nice. And by the way, uh, I may create another video. Um, you're not allowed to mount upside down any heat pump dryers. It's to do with technology of pumping water in and out and how it operates. So no mind mounting upside down. When this question out of the way, yes, you can mount them in a way of stacking or I think mounting on a wall, but I don't believe uh, it is possible here. I think uh, a SATA or if you buy Samsung or any other brand, sell their own stacking up kit because I've got such a big washing machine. My washing machine is 16 kilos uh, and it's larger size. So I just place the soft, medium soft uh, foam on the top of the washing machine and the dryer actually stands on top of the washing machine. That's quite safe and secure. Um, there's no way it's going to move or tumble or anything like that. So safety first. Yes, you can stack them, but you cannot mount them. I hope it was helpful. Thank you for watching. Greg from Brisbane, Australia.